Yo, today I'm talking about stylization as you already know, and I hope that you'll enjoy. So recently I was watching a video of uh, Ethan Baker, here he is, <laughs> you can watch his videos too, great guy, great artist, and um, he was talking about the shape language, and I was like, hmm, do I have shape language? And um, I started to analyze my artworks, and I realized that I don't, <laughs> um, so I told to myself that I'm gonna fix this problem and the first thing that came to my mind about how to fix it was just changing a tool this was what I did actually and now you can see how I'm drawing some girl uh, with the tool that already has its own shape language that was really easy <laughs> now I love the way I draw because it doesn't take too much time because I don't have to care about how I'm drawing these lines I mean I can do the same with another tools but it will be too difficult like for the for the first for seeing the differences I'll show you my uh, works with another tool like with no shape language just a tool now you can see them and all of them are good not perfect but anyway good it, but it's not the, the most important thing the thing is that when i was drawing with not a tool it was adding some i don't know features some specific parts of a character person sees uh, the character. Now I'll show you my resin artworks with the uh, with these two that I'm using right now. So I really 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 like them. Uh, actually when I started to draw with these two um, I thought like it would be just an experiment and I won't do it a lot. Like because I needed to save it some time, but now I'm just I'm just getting used to it. I'm addicted, and I don't want to move to my last favorite tools that I've been using uh, a whole time. Well, um, uh, actually, this video should have been much longer, but when I was making this video, I realized how it's difficult to make a one video, and um. I'm too lazy to make a continuation, so, um, bye for now, guys, um, <laughs>